just a robot. So the other day I was watching Seth the Programmer's series of Blank is Stronger Than You Think, and I realized he hasn't done a video on any of the mechanized characters from Dragon Ball Z. Now this could be because he's a total robophobe, but if he's not going to do a video on a mechanized character from Dragon Ball Z, then I'll do it. Now there are many mechanized characters from DBZ to choose from. They're cyborgs, androids, and robots. But I'm going to talk about the character who's most like me. He's a robot body controlled by an organic brain. The most underrated mechanized character from DBZ. Mecha Cooler. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. And you're just brown nosing. He's certainly the coolest character from Dragon Ball Z. And I'm really getting sick and tired of people giving him the cold shoulder. I really need to chill it with these ice puns. You are not funny, stop trying to be a comedian. Now to give some scale to how powerful Mecha Cooler is, Frieza in his first form was able to destroy planet Vegeta, which has 10 times the gravity of Earth. Now 10 times gravity doesn't equal 10 times harder to destroy. Gravity is only a third of the equation to figuring out how much it takes to destroy a planet. The energy is three-fifths times the gravitational constant, times the mass of the planet squared, and divided by the radius of, of the planet. But it's way more likely that planet Vegeta is way harder to destroy than the Earth. Frieza did that in his first form. He has three more forms on top of that, which are each way more powerful than the last. Cooler is his brother, and he has a transformation on top of that. And Mecha Cooler's even more powerful than that form. Before Cooler even had his Mecha form, he could breathe in space. But now he has a healing factor on top of that. It worked! Wow, the big ghetto star ain't no one's fool. That's right, monkey. With the power of the big ghetto star, I can recover from any injury, no matter how intense. Plus, he has his own version of a Zenkai boost. So Cell is basically a giant ripoff of Cooler. And now that I think about it, Mecha Cooler and Imperfect Cell are pretty much on the same level in terms of power. Also, unlike his brother Frieza, Cooler can instantly charge his Death Bomb. Is that what it's called? Death Bomb? That's what I always called it. It took everything Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta had just to take down one Mecha Cooler. <laughs> Hey, Vegeta! What works? Team Finish works. him off, you shivering oak! <sighs> and yes, you heard me right. One Mecha Cooler. That's right. I am losing. For we are a pain in my ass. Well, Vegeta. You take the 500 on the right, I'll take the 500 on the left. Screw you, I'll take 501! That's the spirit! Mecha Cooler is a one-man army. Literally. But you might be asking yourself, how many Mecha Coolers are there? Uh, about a thousand? Ten thousand? A hundred thousand? Well, guess what? None of those numbers are even close. There are, in fact... TEN BILLION MECHA COOLERS! To put that in perspective, there are more mecha coolers than there are humans on Earth. <laughs> now how much destructive force does mecha cooler have? Some people would say he's above star level, because Cooler in his fifth form mentioned he could destroy the sun. However, that was only in the dubbed version. Plus, his death ball, along with Super Saiyan Goku's Kamehameha, did go into the sun and they didn't destroy it. But do I think Mecha Cooler is star level? 
Well, if you watched my video on how much more powerful a Star Buster is than a Planet Buster, you would know that a Star Buster is about 17 billion times more powerful than a Planet Buster. Now, normally I don't like to use power levels, but when the power scaling backs it up, I'll use it every now and then. Frieza has a power level of 120 million in his final form. It takes a power level of about 10,000 to destroy a planet. So Frieza can destroy 12,000 planets. Super Saiyan Trunks was able to one-hit KO Mecha Frieza, who is even more powerful, but Super Saiyan Goku, after about a year's worth of training, was still more powerful than Super Saiyan Trunks. Plus, Goku did three more years of training on top of that. The reason why I bring all of this up is because Cooler fought Saiyan Saga Goku, plus Saiyan Saga Vegeta on top of that. So, Mecha Cooler is clearly several times more powerful than Frieza in his final form. However, Mecha Cooler would have to be about a million times more powerful than Frieza to even come close to being a Starbuster. Now, some of you may bring up that Super Perfect Cell was a Solar System Buster. But here's the thing, a Solar System Buster is only about 26 times more powerful than a Star Buster. While I do think Mecha Cooler is around the same power level as Imperfect Cell, Super Perfect Cell is Imperfect Cell after absorbing a whole bunch of humans, two androids, oh yeah, and getting the most massive Zenkai boost in the entire series. Now, a lot of you might be confused. This video is supposed to be how powerful Mecha Cooler is, not how weak he is. But this is the part where I tell you just how powerful he really is. Cooler in his fifth form is about five times more powerful than Frieza in his fourth form. Goku in his Super Saiyan form, which is a 50 times multiplier, was more powerful than fifth form Cooler. When Goku fought Mecha Cooler, he was confident he could win with just Kaioken times 20. <laughs> However, Goku still needed to go Super Saiyan. Plus, he needed the help from Super Saiyan Vegeta to take down Mecha Cooler. Meaning that Mecha Cooler is about five times more powerful than fifth form Cooler, who is about four times more powerful than final form Frieza. Which means Mecha Cooler is about 20 times more powerful than Frieza. And that's if we lowball it. However, Mecha Cooler would still have to be about 50,000 times more powerful to destroy a star. Well, lucky for Mecha Cooler, he can just use 50,000 of himself to destroy a star. Using all 10 billion of himself, he can destroy 200,000 stars. And this is if we extremely lowball him. Oh yeah, and the thing that builds Mecha Cooler, that big Getty Star thing, it can devour planets. Huh, devouring planets, doesn't, doesn't that sound familiar? By the way, if you see my video on how much more powerful a Star Buster is than a Planet Buster, you would know that a Galaxy Buster is about 82 million times more powerful than a Solar System Buster. And a Solar System Buster is about 26 times more powerful than a Star Buster. After plugging in all my numbers to my equation, assuming that Mecha Cooler can destroy 200,000 stars a day, it would take him a little under 30 years to destroy a galaxy. Huh, 30 years to destroy a galaxy, doesn't that sound familiar? Now, before I end this video off, some of you might point out that Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta managed to overcharge the big Getty star. What's impossible? You will go and try! I know, but I can't stop them! Where are the Mies? Send it the Mies! What do you mean I'm exploding? But here's the thing, they did that by overcharging the core, not destroying all the mecha coolers. By that same logic, the X-Wing must be a moon buster because it destroyed the Death Star. You're all clear, kid, now let's blow this thing and go home. 
Oh yeah, and if you want to know how powerful Dubbed Cooler is, you know, the one who could destroy a star in his fifth form, well, Mecha Cooler is about five times more powerful than him, so that means one Mecha Cooler can destroy five stars. Five times ten billion is fifty billion, so yeah, Dubbed Mecha Cooler is easily multi-galaxy level. My eyes have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube, debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot, just to roll on marches on.